in a little bit. Yeah, there you go. All right, you want to do the intro or should I? You do it. Okay, you stay there. Dad, we are doing live. That's okay. You ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I introduce to you for the first time on Tuesday morning, Camille Joy Kayam. Good morning. My name is Luke Kayam, master lifestyle coach, husband, father of the future, and I'm here with my amazing, beautiful, and highly talented golden retriever, I mean daughter, Camille Joy Kayam, and we're here this morning to deliver a message. The message is to get your ass up early in the morning time so that you can... So that you can... Oh, you gotta talk louder. That, that, so that, that hidden voice can... is not gonna work for these guys. So that you can do your mental work. Mental work? What? <laughs> Nobody even knows what that Your is. Mental work. No, I didn't ask why I get up early. I know why I get up early. I asked you. I get up early. Wait, look who you're looking at. My I boy get... Hondo in the house. When somebody comes on, you got to give him a quick shout out. Hondo, Canella, this is my little mini me, Camille Kayam here. And we're talking about how and why you should get up early in the morning time. So I wanted to make it simple. I wanted to bring my daughter, wanted to bring my kids into this because you guys complicate it too much. You make it too crazy. You have to think about all these different things for you to get up early in the morning when all you really need to do is just wake up and start doing. So, Miss Camille, why did you ask mom and dad to wake you up early? First of all, what is early? Early is 6 a.m. 6 a.m. What time do you go to school? I go to school at 8.30. I, I love this dull stare off into the sunset, but this is where I want you to focus on I go right there. school at 8.30. So you woke up at 6. Why did you want us to wake you up early this morning so at 6 a.m.? So I could work on my jump shot with Dad and so I could ride my, so I can ride my um, skateboard to school. So you could work on your jump shot. So what, what does practice have to do with getting better at something? Well, as you start, right you'll, start the, you'll start the... Um, Start the, what's it called? I forgot what the, Mo momentum. Good. Okay. Can you spell momentum? M-O-M-E-N-T-U-M. Okay. No, um. T-O-M. Um. T-O- Um. T-U-M. Ah, bravo. <laughs> All right, excellent. Our daughter, our son, son's in the backyard hitting some baseballs right now, wanted us to wake them up early. Early was 6 a.m. so that they could get in some more repetitions because they understand the importance of practice. And practice, 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 but not only just practice, but repetition. Repetition is the mother of all skill. Good morning, my man, Chris Hoffman in the house another father of the future. Here's the deal, guys. Mom. If you're not waking up early, if you're not getting up in the morning- I knew you were gonna say that, Mom. <laughs> and taking action towards the results that you want in your life, then you're gonna miss opportunities. And we talk about this all the time, especially in my business of coaching and teaching people how to live a higher quality of life, how to learn how to become successful in every aspect through their physical fitness or their mental toughness or possibly even their emotional state. Kiki Lynch, looking forward to our challenge with this awesome fam. Yes, ma'am. So, if you're just joining us right now, we are going to be hosting, good morning, my man Dimitri Rigopoulos in the house. We're gonna be hosting a live webinar Thursday night at 7 p.m. This is a free webinar. You're gonna get invited into my home, into my studio, and I'm gonna spit some fire. I'm gonna teach you guys how to eliminate toxins from your mind, from your body, and from your life. Toxins are deadly. Toxins can kill you. Good morning, Mr. Hoffman. Toxins are, are, are completely the worst possible thing that you can possibly put in your body, put in your mind, and put around you. So we want to eliminate toxins. And you, you, you think about some of the toxins that are killing you on a daily basis. If you used a microwave this morning, you are living a toxic life. 
If you put on three or four different lotions and creams and stuff in your hair, you are living a toxic life. If you're allowing the phone or the internet or your email to take control of your life, then you are, do you have to go? Yeah. Yeah, she has to go, hold on. She has some uh, baseball hitting lessons in the backyard, a little bit more practice, but before you go, <laughs> tell everybody here why Miss Camille Joy Kayam is so successful. One thing, one word. I like the word consistency. Now go. Get out of here. All right, guys. My man Prince, more power to you guys. Good morning. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. The reason why I get my kids involved, not only in the bigger picture, right? This is the micro level. This is just the very basics of what you're seeing right now. Good morning, Misty. What you're seeing right now is just the micro level. But the macro level is so that my kids obviously understand how to get comfortable in front of a crowd, how to get comfortable uh, doing some public speaking, how to get in front of a video camera, how to face some of the fears that a lot of us have. And I'm gonna tell you this story right now before I get out of here. And it goes like this. I wasn't always great at public speaking. I was actually terrible. I was one of the worst ever. And here's the story. When I was 18 years old, I had to go and stand in front of a judge. I had a traffic ticket. It was a speeding ticket. It was a dangerously high speeding ticket, so they wanted to throw the book at me. And I had three options, guilty, not guilty, or guilty with an explanation. And I had to stand up in front of the judge, and one by one, they would call you up, and I got up there, and my explanation was not guilty. Not guilty, that's all I had to say. Not guilty was written on my hand in a Sharpie. And I got up there and I went, oh shit, I don't know what to do with my hands. Literally, I had no idea what to do. I couldn't even say it. From that moment on, it pissed me off so bad that I didn't have this skill. It made me so upset. It drove me to become better and better and better. And you ask sometimes, a lot of people ask me, Luke, why do you do these Facebook Lives every single morning? Well, I'm not here to just look at myself in a selfie stick over and over again. That's not my goal. My goal is to inspire people. My goal is to show people that living with purpose and passion and positivity every day, showcasing a transparent life and a lifestyle with my family, that these are the true deep down values that drive me each and every single day and that you can be driven by your own core values. What are those core values? A lot of times people don't realize that they have so much time on their hands, and which is why we, we want people to wake up early in the morning, we want them to read, we want them to journal, we want them to meditate, we want them to exercise so that you have more time. Time is the one thing that we share on a regular basis, 168 hours in the week. Don't waste your life living someone else's life. Don't waste your time in somebody else's world. What's going on? You, you coming over here? Hey. Hustle, get over here. I got one more kid in here. We're gonna interview him briefly and then we're gonna let you guys get out of here for the day. If you have any questions about this webinar, webinar that I'm gonna be hosting on Thursday night, I'm gonna put it in the notes. Let's go left side. It's a free webinar and I'm just gonna spit fire for 45 minutes and see if I can't help you guys live a higher quality of life through making some very simple adjustments and changes to your lifestyle, eliminating toxins, killing the microwave, removing the Wi-Fi from your hands, from your body, and just doing things, good morning, Alan Cruz, doing things on a regular basis that will help you live a longer life. Look, it doesn't matter how big your biceps are. If you can't live a long, healthy life, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What kind of lessons am I teaching these kids if I drop dead at 35 years old because I put a bunch of crap in my body? Good morning, Shelly, my cousin. I love you guys. Cannon, what's up? Oh, look, look, look. You got two good looking dudes right here with some nice haircuts. My man Prince, if you don't know by now, you got to get some Prince in your life. Head down to Chandler, the greatest barber in the history of barbers. He's the greatest of all time. He's the greatest. All right, I got my man Kanakayim in the house. Big dog, we're gonna ask you a couple questions here. Are you ready? Yes. Why do you wake up early in the morning? Um, to train and have a healthy life. To train and have a healthy life. What do you wanna be when you get older? Um, a sports player. Sports player, that's like you could be, you could be a croquet player, you could be a ping baseball, pong champ. Baseball, basketball, or football. Baseball, basketball, or football. All right, and what do you love doing more than anything? Playing sports. Playing sports. Second to that. Um, playing. 
ping pong. All right, so the key word in this, if you're still here, still paying attention, is play. How do we teach our kids, how do we teach the future generations to be serious, to be consistent, to learn a specific skill or a task, to be great at it while still having fun and playing? And that's the ultimate question. That's the question I challenge you guys with today. All my dads out there, all my fathers of the future, I would love for you to join me and the Cayenne family Thursday night for a live webinar. I'm gonna put the link in the notes and all I'm gonna do is just teach you, teach you, teach you, teach you ways that you can eliminate toxins from your life. And of course, we'll be kicking off a lifestyle transformation challenge this weekend. But come to the webinar first. First, understand a little bit more about possibly the things that you're consuming on a regular basis. I got one for you. Do you love to chew gum? Yes. Oh, me too. But I haven't chewed gum a good piece of gum in years because everything has artificial flavors in it. Yellow number two, two. red number 40. All those things are artificial, what? Cool, let's go. All, Cannon has to go to school. All those things are artificial flavors. For more Cannon, Luke, Camille, Najla Kayan, for more Kayans teaching people how to live a higher quality of life, please make sure you follow me. Please make sure you share this message. Have a wonderful day. You wanna leave with anything? Uh, hashtag Ken and Kyam. Ooh, hashtag Ken and Kyam, Luke Kyam, living every single day with purpose, passion, and positivity. I love you. Love you. Peace!